एवरी वन दिस इज सचिन सिंह आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर हैंडबुक ऑफ रिएजेंट्स फॉर द ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसिस बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दिस बुक इट इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सर्वाइव इन द सिंथेटिक केमिस्ट्री देन यू हैव टू स्टडी रिएजेंट्स ओके इफ यू इफ यू हैव बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ रिएजेंट्स देन एंड देन ओनली वी विल सर्वाइव in this synthetic universe of this particular chemistry okay so as far as synthesis is concerned you have to study reagents if you want to survive in this particular field of the chemistry then you have to understand you have to imagine the things okay by learning the reagents okay so this is very very important book I am going to cover in detail on my YouTube channel so please do like share subscribe to my channel and watch the lectures in in coming days so this is the first lecture of this particular book so let us discuss the first example of this particular bile publication book okay so let us discuss so this is the first example of this particular book okay so what they have mentioned basically that we need to understand so if you 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 if you want to carry out one synthesis in this uh, in particular in one particular laboratory then you need to understand what exactly our reactant okay so reactant is very important so first of all you need to understand reactant okay so what they have mentioned basically they have mentioned one bridge head system containing carbonyl group okay so basically the compound contains carbonyl group at the corner corner at the corner of this particular bridge head system okay so this compound is very important now listen carefully that in the presence of this particular reagent this reaction proceeding further okay so basically you need to understand that how this particular reagent has been synthesized in this particular laboratory okay so how this molecule synthesized that is very important so so let us discuss the synthesis of this particular reagent okay so in the presence of acetylene plus if you take butyrial lithium butyrial lithium that is particularly a, a organometallic reagent in the presence of uh, you know uh, solvent okay then uh, they will interact each other they will uh, do reaction each other the butyrial lithium okay the butyrial uh, butyrial uh, will take the proton from the acetylene molecule and there is a formation of anion system over here like this and the lithium that is cation that is going to interact with this particular anion system and there is a formation of this particular reagent okay so this is very important that you need to understand that how the uh, reagent has been synthesized in the laboratory okay so this is how the they synthesize this reagent in the laboratory okay after synthesizing this particular after synthesizing this particular uh, you know uh, uh, nucleophile or the reagent they will add or they will start uh, reaction okay so they will take this compound and they will take this compound in uh, reaction uh you know pot that is uh, our uh, round bottom flask and uh, and uh, they will add this particular lithium uh you know reagent and uh, in the presence of solvent this tetrahydrofuran okay in uh, temperature what is the temperature minus 78 degree celsius they have maintained during this particular reaction okay then and then only the reaction will occur and you will get this product and what is the name of this product 1r 1 methyl 2 ethyl endo 33 dimethyl 2 nor 
Bornenol system. So this is particular. This is nothing but the alcohol system. Okay. So this is uh, all about uh, you know substrate and reagent and solvent. Okay, and the reaction medium. So let us discuss the exact mechanism of this particular reaction. So let us discuss. So first of all, you have to write the starting material. Okay. So in the presence of this starting material, in the presence of this starting material, okay. So how the reaction exactly proceeds? So first of all, this oxygen has a lone pair of electrons. Okay, non-bonding electrons treated as a non-bonding electrons. These are nothing but the non-bonding electrons. non-bonding electrons these non-bonding electrons will take this lithium ion it will coordinate this particular lithium ion like this okay and there is a formation of this all the this all reaction carried out in the presence of solvent that is tetrahydrofuran okay so in the presence of minus 78 degree celsius so first of all first step is basically the oxygen lone pair will coordinate this particular lithium ion okay and there is a formation of this particular there is a formation of this particular compound okay after coordination of this particular lithium lithium ion to this particular oxygen now what exactly happening in this particular substrate so electrophilicity of this particular carbonyl carbon now increases why because this oxygen carries whenever this oxygen carries positive charge you know the electro negativity of this oxygen almost doubled okay so electrophilicity of this particular carbonyl system carbonyl system increases okay like this now these are the pi star orbital this is the pi star orbital okay this is nothing but the original pi bond and to break this original pi bond we need to attack we have to attack on the pi star orbital of this particular carbonyl system now there are two sides one is a upper side and one is a lower side so attack will take place from the left hindered region okay so attack will take place from the top side because the attack will not take place from the bottom side it is just because of steric crowding of this particular cavity and this particular methyl system which is uh, present over here so below this cavity is present over there so lot of hindrance is there below so instead of below the attack will take place from the top side you need to understand this particular point okay so attack will take place from the top side so like this these non bonding electrons will attack on the pi star orbital of this particular system carbonyl system like this and there is a breaking of this particular old bond takes place like this because pi bond is a weaker in nature so if you want to break this bond you have to attack on the pi star orbital of this particular system okay so there is a opening of this bond takes place like this and there is a formation of this compound there is a formation of this compound after attacking this particular non bonding electrons of this particular anion system there is a formation of this compound and this compound is basically this compound is basically unstable okay this compound is basically unstable because of the you know tetrahedral this is tetrahedral intermediate so bond angle of this particular carbonyl system is 120 and when the bond angle decreases to 120 degree to 109 degree 28 minutes so what exactly happens steric crowding increases and that is why the this is tetrahedral intermediate and because of the less bond uh, angle a lot of disturbance will take place or a lot of 
you know disturbance will take place steric crowding increases atom will come closer to each other they will start repelling each other and that is why it is unstable okay so what it will do but uh, in this case this anion now this anion carrying lithium ion now what will happen these anion will attack on the sigma star orbital of this particular hydronium ion like this and there is a breaking of this particular sigma bond takes place like this because oxygen carries positive charge and to neutralize this particular charge we need to abstract this particular proton and after abstracting this particular proton the system gets stabilized over here like this and there is a formation of this particular compound and this compound is nothing but the alcohol okay because alcohol group is attached at this particular carbon atom and this this is methyl system which is present over here so this is our final product of this particular reaction okay so this compound is stable now because of you know no charge present in this particular compound okay so whether it is so it is a tetrahedral carbon but it is stable because of you know no charges present over here now in the previous structure we will find charges okay this is nothing but the negative charge present on the oxygen and lithium carries positive charge so oxygen p orbital electrons had been attacked on this particular s orbital of this particular lithium system so this is unstable system so this after abstracting this particular proton the system gets stabilized over here and this is our final product of this particular reaction so that is the norborne norborneol okay system so this is how the reaction is going to take place okay so thank you very much for uh watching the video please take the screenshot of it